important topic that I do need to talk to you guys about, okay? Please share this with others, okay? Share this with others because I believe that many people right now have it a little twisted, okay? So are you someone who's like, I need someone to help me with my Facebook. I need them to run ads. I need ads for my Facebook. I need a, a social media manager to do all my social media. I need all this help with social media. I need the postings. I need this. I need this. I need the followers. I need the likes. I need the loves. I'm looking for followers. Is that your thought process? It's okay if it is, but I want to talk to you about what happens after that, right? So I talked to a lot of people and they're so focused on bringing people in their space. And then I say, and then what are you going to do with them? And then they say, Oh, they're going to watch me and they're going to say, what do you do? And then they're going to just buy from me. Okay, so how long is that going to take? Well, I don't know. It depends. You know, some people may take years. Some people may take months. And I'm like, okay. So your goal is to have 20,000 followers. Your goal is to build your Facebook group and wait. Think about that, guys. Think about that, okay? Okay. So in my opinion, okay, 30 years of experience, nine years of virtual, you could have zero, zip, nil, nada followers, and you could still make sales. Can you believe that? Absolutely. That's what my blessing method is all about. It's about serving others, okay? So in the blessing method, we find out what people want, and then we solve the problem with our product or service, and they buy from you right then and there that day. Then they, they, then they fall in love with you, well, again, that day, and they, they give you referrals, and then those people put themselves on your calendar, and then, boom, you solve their problems, and they buy from you. So in one week's time, you could be making a lot of money. But the effort, yeah, you can still build your following, but why are you doing that? Because if your purpose isn't to focus on selling and your pur purpose is focusing on followers, that means your bank account is not growing at the speed it should. Are you with me? Does that make sense? Give me a heart. Give me a love. Give me a like. Tell me I'm wrong. You know, ask me some questions. So I believe in this era, especially after the pandemic or during the pandemic, People were like, oh my gosh, I have to learn this virtual space. I need followers, I need followers, I need followers, I need followers. Well, I don't think so. I think what you need is to solve people's problems. I think that you can talk to someone, your neighbor, your, um, you know, someone on Facebook, someone on Instagram, someone, and they can, boom, they can buy your products right then and there. I sold my first course. I did $20,000. I didn't even have my email list. Okay, so it can be done. Again, it's focusing on problem solving. So I ask you, we're on Friday right now. How many sales have you made this week? How many sales? How many new people did you have a tit chat with and they purchased from you? So now listen, my method is educational selling. You can do this with sending someone to a link or to a website. That's fine. But mostly what I talk about is that Someone fills out your survey. It's a very strategic survey. You have a 15-minute chit-chat, but boom, they purchase from you because you solved the problem that what they said that they have. So in the past seven days, have you had events on Facebook? Have you had just posting, posting, posting? Are you learning Reels? Are you learning Instagram? Are you learning YouTube? What have you done? And has it made you money? Okay. And, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm a sales professional. I was a sales professional before I became an entrepreneur, really. I understood the basis of selling. And most entrepreneurs are starting their business because they loved their product, right? Whatever it is, they loved it and they knew everyone else would, but they didn't understand that there's a selling component to this. It's not just marketing where you're showing people it. It's solving the problem. That's what selling is in my mind, right? So in one week's time, how much money did you bring in? And that could be personal. You don't have to share if you don't want to. How many posts did you make? How many of those posts made you money? I want you to look at that. I want you to analyze that. And I want you to see where are you spending your time? So if you're on TikTok, I'm on there too, right? But I know that when those people reach out to me, boom, they're going to fill out a survey and I'm going to close the sale. Money is going to change hands.
Okay. So my focus is providing value on that platform and, you know, turning that into sales, turning that into sales. So like I want, like what I'm trying to say basically is don't focus solely on all these numbers. Why don't you just go out today and have people fill out your survey and then present to them effectively. Gain team members if that's your business model. Gain affiliates if that's your business model. You know, get referrals and put them on automation so they buy from you again. Make it fast. You could start with a brand new product today, right? If you understood how to make a survey and you understood what strategic questions to ask, you could sell today. There isn't this huge learning curve. I make it very simple. Now, if you don't have a survey, okay, I can help you with that. So go to masterserveystosell.com and I am going to teach you. We're going to make three surveys together. Let me see. Here you go. Go to Master Surveys to Sell and we're going to make three surveys together. I'm going to help you with your presentation. So a lot of people, they can make a survey, but they don't know the order in which they have to ask. And then they ask things that do not pertain to increasing their sales. Like I said, I'm an expert on this. I have over 30 years of sales and business experience. Your questions, right? The answer to every single question is your product or service. So sometimes we ask questions in our surveys and we're reinforcing what they're already doing. When you do that, it's going to affect your sales. So if you sell a hair product and you say to them, is your hair shiny, bouncy, and beautiful? And they say yes, you just told them to keep doing what they're doing. Why would you want to do that? but you might not know how to ask effective questions in your survey. The other thing is some people, they make surveys and they tell me, I've got tons of leads. I've got tons of leads. And they're sitting there. They're not reaching out because they don't know what to say. They don't have the words to book that person for an appointment, to go over their survey results. They don't know how to present effectively, so it's fast. So it's focused on solving a problem. And that's what's stopping them. So they're just getting boatloads, truckloads, train like loads. What do you call those things? Crates? What is that? <laughs> Barrels? Barges full of leads. People are paying people to gain leads and they're not converting them to sales. Y'all, that is a problem. That is a problem because really, why are you trying to get leads if you're not trying to get sales? What? 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 I know. Mic drop. Because that's what we're taught. We're taught get leads, 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 because they assume that you know how to convert them to sales. And there's not many people out there like me who are taking the time to say, yo, this is the recipe. This is how you get the people in your space. This is what you say for them to fill out your survey. This is what you do after the survey. This is what you can text them. This is how you get them to show up to the appointment. If they don't show up the appointment, this is what you do. This is how you present. This is how you present so that you don't get the objections at the end. You know those ones, right? I can't afford it. Now's not a good time. I have to talk to my spouse. I'm going to keep using what I'm using. Oh, thank you for your time, right? Have you heard those? Or let me think about it. I'll get back to you. Those are all objections that you should not be hearing if you are presenting effectively. If you've asked strategic questions in your survey and tied it in to your presentation, you shouldn't be hearing that, okay? I show you the recipe, how to, and why do you do that? So if you want help, I'm happy to help you. Go to masterservicetosell.com. It's going to close out on Sunday. We're starting on Monday. It's going to be live on Zoom. If you can't join in live, that's okay. You're going to have lifetime access to the replays. Got a Facebook community as well. I have an app and I have a portal. Well, all the information will be there. Maybe that's not what you want. Maybe you're like, Erica, I don't know. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to sell. Well, can I ask you something? Why not? Why not? Is it that you feel that you don't know your product enough? Is it, do you feel that you don't know enough people? I can tell you this, that utilizing my blessing method, which is a five-step step simple process, which I've used for many years, when I follow it, got great results. When I first started in my business, in my direct sales business, I was in a little state of Rhode Island. It's that big. I knew nobody. Nobody. There was no social media. There was no texting. There was no none of that. I used the system that I'm telling you right now, and I paid off $15,000 of debt in three months. 
So this system, it works, right? But I didn't know the product that I was talking about. I knew how to ask effective questions and I give myself pause to find the answers to them before I present effectively. So if you have a product, then it should be getting into the households of all these other people, right? If you are a coach and you're not enrolling people every week, that's what I call a pothole, right? That's an area where money's just getting stuck in there. It's not all smooth, right? If you're having any anxiety around asking for the money, bringing up the sale, gaining leads, converting leads, getting referrals, building a team, if that's what you want to do, I would say go to masterservicesell.com and join me. I think there's eight spots open and that's it. And then I'm going to shut it down and you can wait till the next time. If you're not ready to sell, then let's chat because something's holding you back. Selling is a beautiful thing. It's serving. It is serving others. And I know that you have a fabulous product or service. I know you believe in it. And I know it's hard for you to, to get other people to understand that they need it. You won't have to ever feel like you're twisting arms again. No hey girl messages, nothing like that. How about this? We find out if people are interested in hearing about what you have to say ask them these questions to see if they would be a good fit before you spend the time talking to them about it. You see, if you start talking and talking and talking about stuff and they're not interested, you are now perceived as pushy. And I know you don't want that. Only talk to the people who are interested. I know what you're thinking. What if they won't fill out my survey? Okay, well then they're not your peeps, right? If somebody says to me, Erica, I want to chat with you. I want to pick your brain. I want to do this. Okay, great. Fill out my business survey. It will take you to my calendar. And they're like, well, I just have a couple of questions. That's okay. Just fill out my business survey. It will take you to my calendar. If they don't fill out my business survey so that I can serve them best, so I can make them use the best use of both of our time, then they're not my peeps. I don't want to work with them, right? I want to serve them, okay? So instead of trying to convince the mass majority of the people that they need your product or service, let's weed those out. You want people to say no, that they don't want to fill it out because now you focus on your, your energy on the ones who do. Do you love it? Do you love it? So that's what I'm teaching starting Monday, okay? MasterServiceToSell.com. You can even make payments. Okay. And since you watched this long, I'm going to give you a code. It's going to give you a discount. And the word is now. N is in Nancy, O is in Olivia, and W as in what? what? <laughs> That's the code. Okay. As long as when you put that in, it's still active. That means that we still have room. Okay. I hope that you will take me up on this offer. And if you're like, I don't want to sell, well, then why are you in business? Because the only reason you can stay in business is by getting your products. So here's some like beef sticks, right? The only way that this company can stay in business is if people buy it, right? The same thing with the water, the same thing with the cars, same thing with the alarms. You're in business to make money. You're in business to impact others. You're in business to help your family and to help those in your community, right? The only way you can do that is if you're selling by serving. Okay. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please share it out, share it out, share it out. All right. I'm going to be back tonight. I'll be back tonight with some training for you. Okay. If you're not on TikTok, check me out, Erica V Sells, and I've given some, some good tips on there. Okay. If you're stuck, Let's get you unstuck on Monday. Let's do it. Let's work together. I'd love for you to join me. I see so many people suffering and spending years, spending time learning all these new things. Those are trendy things. What you need to learn is the skill of selling. Once you have that, it doesn't matter if TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, any of that goes away because that skill that you learn, it won't go away. Okay? I love you guys. I appreciate you being in my space. All right. I'm so glad there's not a robber in my house. That was so scary. Whoa, whoa, look. Brenda. Brenda can't wait. Yes. Oh, wait till you see. I've made a, I'm making the workbooks. Oh, I'm going to be posting it in, um, in the a Master Service to Sell group. You're going to get it in your portal. Yes. You're going to love the workbook and you're going to love Monday. I'm so excited for Brenda. Don't forget, Brenda, become an affiliate of mine and I pay you 
when people join my courses because you shared it out. So it's an additional stream of income. All right, guys. Love you. Bye. Have a great day. See you.